What we're going to be doing and the takeaway from that deal, pretty good. We've now taken out the session high again here. We're looking to go for a measure on this one now. We've got that diverging storyline. It's a buy side, buy side only narrative, as you can see there. And uh, we've had a nice buy side popper on this. Well done. We've just taken out session highs in the background as well. And of course, uh, you have to make a new valuation. Why? Because, well, that's what we do. When we trade into macro keys, we make new macro key decisions in these areas. Is it good enough to be long? Is it good enough to bag some profits? Is it good enough to take a short reversal? Well, it's certainly not good enough to take a short reversal. It's certainly good enough to take some profits into this price at this point. And obviously, we can now look at this from a, an idea that we're now starting to look at a N equals zero type line here. You can see that for yourself starting to form here. And this is ultimately a failed auction in the background to this bigger picture. So we can obviously work out that that price is now the pivot and therefore this becomes the N equals zero type line. And we can see that this is gonna be a price that we can start working sell side against if we get the opportunity to do it. And you see, we've just touched off that little top line level two there after that pivot was put in there. And uh, you can see, obviously, it's not an art trade, but certainly it's on that line itself. And you started to see that tiny little element of touch coming in there. A very, very fast, quick response to that, a very quick sell off. But let's see if this now balances up. If it's going to go short, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's going to go short, we can now imagine that this is now the cap buyer just in place at this point. So we can obviously come in with that cap buy at that point, And then we can start thinking about this as perhaps the short accumulation trade for the sell side opportunity in this area. But uh, value looks good on the short if you're already in it. I like your uh, high, I like your Heisman sell at 58s, 57s. I like it. It's nice and aggressive, nice and popping on that trade at the moment. Looking good. Very healthy indeed, guys. Very healthy indeed. And remember, we talked about this this morning about the, the concept of um, of the uh, the art trade. The art trade is the acceleration of the reverse trend line. It's not the reverse trend line. The reverse trend line is just n equals zero type as a line, you know, as an equation. It's just n equals zero. It just is a straight line. It has no element to it. But the information we get from these things can be very, very, very informative. And that's what we're trying to understand is what information is it giving me about what is happening in the background. We have cash open coming up in a short while. So uh, we were buy side equities earlier on today, but we've lost a lot of value in the uh, London session, late London session. And uh, we're going to have to reestablish what the value is at the US Open. So that's what we're going to be waiting for. Cash open in just four minutes time. Four minutes time, guys, for the cash open. Uh, gold. <clears throat> Take a look. Whether you agree with me or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can take a look and you can see for yourself, we had a very nice art sell trade up here. And you can see that there was a lot of sell side value into what is ultimately a developed RGL narrative. And uh, we got a very, very nice pop on the sell side here. We got a nice developing storyline here. We got a nice buy reversal coming in here. Again, this is a manipulation candle by the looks of it, based on what we can see from the dollar yen narrative. And uh, you can see we've had a pretty reasonable buy side reversal off of that storyline as well. Don't see any value at the moment. It's not buy side or sell side. F looks fair for the time being. So there's no trade at this point. We obviously have an, uh, a line that has a, a value for us because we can come up with this point here. And that failed auction gives us this line here, which puts us somewhere in the future. It puts us around about 2072.7 at the US cash open. And that's what we're going to be looking for at that stage. So um, let's see what the oil does at the top edges. Let's see what the oil does at the top edge. Sell side value? Yeah, it's a little bit risky at the moment because the net value is still bullish. Uh, so I am very, very inclined to ask for the art trade rather than simply buy and sell into this, uh, sorry, sell into the top edges at the moment. I'd be inclined to be asking for the art position. 
And, uh, you know, if we don't get that premium, I don't think we're going to get anything at all. So I'm more inclined to just be a little bit more patient and wait for that top line to form, guys. It's going to be a nice quiet session today, one hopes. Take us into the uh, new year. And then we can get really busy when the desks start flooding back, of course. Um, looking at the oil just now, smart money is neutral. So not really seeing what the smart money fancies on this oil. At this top edge, we've had a very big lean trade at 7260. You'll see that with the refreshed order book behind it. So that's uh, certainly some evidence of selling coming in on the oil at the uptick. Uh, but cash open now just in two minutes, guys. Cash open in just two minutes now.